ground there is hard, so be careful when you dig. Yes, sir. Doctor! Doctor Masuda! What is it? Did you find something? Yeah. We followed the corridor from the lakeside. It matches the location described in the that research must be paper. It. Good. Show us where it is. It's different from the others. I knew it! It's over there.
Start up the experiment. Open up an interconnection. Roger. Opening interconnection. Connecting with dummy protocol. A-line protocol zone secured. Opening cage partition. 60 seconds to release. Beginning countdown. 57, 56, 55, 54, 53, 52, 51. temporal lobe. What's the problem? It's on the left side of the temporal lobe. I'm showing slight stimulation of the synapses in section 818. It's within permissible bounds, though. Do you want to abort? No. Let's keep going. Just stick to the menu. I'll try for a direct approach. Back me up. Roger. Launching Nataraja connection system. Word accepted. Commencing Nataraja boot up sequence. problem with the visual field connection. Hmm. Ah, I see a small break in the MT field, route K12. It looks like the bi-directional link in the V4 field is lagged too. Hold on a minute. I'll fix it now. How is it now, Chief? Okay. Looks good. Let's keep going. Roger. Proceeding with Cosmos host separation. Good morning, Cosmos. How do you feel? Good morning, Xi'an. All systems are normal. Well, how about introducing yourself? I am an Antinosis humanoid fighting system, serial number 00000000001. Development name KPX, abbreviated name Cosmos. As I am currently configured for simulated battle, my output is limited to 22% of its normal capacity. My estimated weapon specifications are... All right, that's good enough. Thanks. You are welcome. All I have for you today are the usual startup tests. Sorry to wake you up just for that. You'll have to go back to sleep once everything's checked out. I see. Do you feel sad or anything? 
A predetermined set of emotions has been hard-coded into my emotion module to better facilitate interactions with humans. In order to better facilitate a relationship with you, Chief Engineer Shion Uzuki of the Cosmos Project, Vector Industries, 1st R&D Division, I will emit an expression such as sadness only when that response is deemed necessary. However, the emotion module of my program has determined that this is not necessary at this time. <laughs> I guess you're right. I, of all people, should know that. Your understanding is appreciated. But you know, Cosmos, I've got mixed feelings about all this. Of course, I'm happy that you're awake, but the fact that you'll go back to sleep makes me a bit sad. On the other hand, the next time you wake up, it may be a time of much bloodshed. So deep down inside, I hope that day never comes. Understand? The algorithms I have been programmed with do not support the comprehension of illogical human thought. Well, I hope you'll be able to understand someday. I will do my best. All right, Cosmos, shall we get started? Alan, let's pick up from process 277 where we last left off. Roger. Placing target drones in the Encephalon. The drones are set to random movement and enemy ambush. How about a test run before the mission, Chief? Mm. Sure, let's do that. Did you get that, Cosmos? Affirmative. All processes to 300 cleared. Chief, the data transfer is going smoothly. The A-line protocol is looking good. It sure is. The response levels are really good. If we can maintain these levels, we'll have some great results soon. Yeah. Chief? Hey, Alan. Let's skip all 300 level processes, and start from 400. Huh? 400? Chief, but that's... I feel pretty confident this time. But, Chief... Remember what happened last time? Had we waited 10 more seconds to intervene, we wouldn't have been able to get you back at all. Can't we at least test it out in objective mode? You know we can't get precise data that way. I'll be fine. 
If something happens, I'll get myself out. Besides, you want to test it out as well, don't you? We spent all night building the native A-line protocol. Well, yeah, but... That settles it. Let's get started. All right, then. But if anything happens, I'm gonna shut it down from here. So don't press your luck. All right, all right. And don't deviate from the program. Okay, Mom. Jeez, this is so typical of her. Will she ever stop to think about the hell I go through for her? You know, sir, the way you worry about Chief Uzuki all the time... I'm surprised you haven't keeled over already. Hey! That's enough! Is the 400 level program ready to go? We're ready to go anytime. Then start up the program. I want detailed reports from every monitoring station. Any abnormalities, and I'm shutting down immediately.
Go. unusual. All systems are stable. It's looking good. This ought to make up for last month. I sure hope so. Cosmos has reached the checkpoint. Entering process 431. Replacing targets with Type-G drones. Commencing display. This is a good 
idea? go. What's going on? A brand new network is being created within the Cosmos mainframe. We've never had a reaction like this before. This is incredible. I've never seen a net grow so fast. Look at it, sir. Portions of the Encephalon map are evolving. All the data. What? You cannot engage right now. You're tapped into Cosmos Perception. It's too unstable. Don't worry. We can pull it off. What do you mean, don't worry, Chief? So far, so good. Shift target to real mode. We'll test the Hilbert effect. What? Chief, you're supposed to follow the program. Cosmos, activate Hilbert. Roger. Activating Hilbert effect. I 
knew this would happen! Status! This is bad. Something's wrong in the encephalon. The whole thing could collapse at any moment. What? What about the chief? Chief, you're in danger! Get out of there now! Hold on! Just a little longer! Chief! Nerve impulse is in the limbic system! We've got Kinley! That's enough! Shut it down! Pull her out of there now! Roger! Entering shutdown command! It's been rejected! The Chief's overriding us! We can't control it from here! What? Ten seconds to encephalon collapse! Sir! Damn it! Are you... all right? Uh, yeah. Thanks. Did I push my luck a little too far this time? <sighs> Alan? You can't... keep doing this, Chief. I thought I was gonna have a heart attack. Sorry about that, but I bet the data's really good. Besides... Was there something else? Hmm? Oh, it's nothing. Well, we better get started on that data. Today's our deadline, so I'm sure they'll be asking for it soon. Attention, please. We are scheduled to gate out in approximately three minutes. All hands, please return to your designated areas immediately. Once again, attention, please. We are scheduled to gate All ships, gate out complete. Shifting main engine to stealth mode. Maintaining current speed until sector withdrawal. Exit from current space set at absolute time, 1300 on the 22nd. 7 hours, 16 minutes, and 30 seconds to withdrawal. Next UMN column in 7 hours, 36 minutes. All gate jumps from other sectors will remain offline until then. So, we're almost home. Yes, sir. Our final gate jump is at the next column. We're almost there. We made it this far, we'll be fine. 
the odds of contact between columns is statistically low. Besides, this asteroid field we're in is perfect for hiding the fleet from them. Huh. So Pollyanna thinks those asteroids are going to protect us. I... I'm sorry, sir. A bit testy today, aren't we, Commander? Huh? Is something wrong? No. Of course not. Ever since we picked up that object ten days ago, everyone's been a bit jumpy. And we still have a ways to go before we hit comm space. I can empathize with the Commander. Mm. Uh, Captain? Can you, uh, debrief us on the current situation? Our original orders from the Galaxy Federation were to investigate the vanished planet and assist the researchers. But ever since we picked up that object, it feels like everything's changed. What exactly is that thing anyway? Who knows? I haven't heard a thing from the research team. But, as I mentioned before, apparently they're after the object too. That's unofficial info, of course. What about the rumor regarding the casualties during the retrieval process? Even if it were true, that's none of our business. The research team has their own orders to deal with. The only explicit instructions we've received state that should any salvageable objects exist in the area, their retrieval takes top priority. Top priority? What does that mean? What it means is, over our very lives, Now, now, no need to scare them. Those orders merely reflect the importance of this operation to the Galaxy Federation government, that's all. Just stay sharp and be careful. That makes sense, sir. The entire fleet was renovated for this mission. Besides, if there's an emergency, we've got the trump card to fall back on. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, speaking of which, what's the latest on that situation? They're scheduled to turn in the A7 reports today. A7, eh? Only one step away from fully operational. It's about time, I suppose. Lieutenant, please ask Chief Uzuki to come to the bridge once her data's ready. Ask her to bring all the previous data as well. Yes, sir. What trump card? Was he referring to that battle android? That's right. You didn't know? Wow, so it's true. Hey, I heard that project's really behind schedule. You can't blame them. There were casualties during their last boot-up test two years ago. They're being more careful this time. It's hard to believe they're making an android in this day and age. The only place I've ever seen them is in old space novels. Well, Trump card or not, it's still an experiment. And it ain't like one android's gonna make that much of a difference. The whole project's just a chance for those Vector guys to show off. Someone's outdated hobby, that's all. I heard that even their commercial models differ greatly between those that have seen action and those that haven't. They say ignorance is bliss. Looks like they were right. Commander? I'm just envious, that's all. Sure. I'll be there in 30 minutes. They certainly didn't waste any time. See? I'm usually right about these things. Chief Uzuki, here's the data you requested. Will that be all? Thanks. This should be good enough. I'll take care of the rest. Um, Chief, do you have a second? Yes. The military is expecting actual field data for Cosmos. Is it right for us to keep giving them simulated data like this? Well, I must admit, you got me there. 
But honestly, if it were up to me, I'd keep her here, safe in her dream world, forever. But why are you so afraid to put her to real work when you push her so hard in the simulations? I can't wait to see Cosmos up and completely functional. Couldn't you at least try taking her up to Phase 3? That should be no problem for her by now. Phase 3 in a simulated battle config? Come on. We're not about to wake our little princess for that. Here's a summary of Cosmos' main equipment from the 2nd Division. This should help you with the guys upstairs. Thanks. I'm sure it will. <laughs>